This tutorial demonstrates how to create smooth fade-in and fade-out effects for your images that you import into Doodly version 2.4.6. With a little bit of preparation, you can use the same concept for text and assets. Doodly version 2.4.6 does not natively support creating fade-in effects for text or assets and fade-out effects of any kind. You will run into some limitations when creating these effects on your own. You will lose the ability for the hand to erase portions of an asset or text when you place other assets on top of it. Version 2.4.6 only offers one image timeline, so you can only fade in one item at a time. Let's get started, shall we? There are a few things required to make it through this tutorial. A screen snipping program. This is a program that will allow you to capture a portion of the screen. I will be using the Windows Snip and Sketch tool that comes with Windows 10. A photo editing program. This will be used to remove the white background from the snippet you capture and create your image cover square and rectangles. I will be using Photoshop CS6. Computer navigation skills so you know where you saved your files to import them into Doodly. And finally, using Doodly settings. If you don't have this skill, please watch the Doodly basic video tutorials prior to watching the rest of this video. If you have these requirements, let's begin. There's a little bit of preparation before we get started. Let's disable erase mode. This will prevent the hand from erasing your fade out effect. Click the word Settings next to the gear icon directly above the timeline. Now set Erase Mode to Off. Click Apply. There, that was easy. Next, let's start out with a simple image fade. Import an image you created into Doodly and drag that image onto the canvas. Now set the Reveal Mode setting for that image to fade. This will allow the image to fade into the canvas. To create your fade out effect for the whiteboard, you will need to create a white rectangle or square without borders in your photo editing program and import that into Doodly. Drag that white rectangle over the image you are attempting to fade out and set the reveal mode to fade for that rectangle. This will create your fade out effect in Doodly. Text and asset fading requires a couple of additional steps. Pre-made characters, props, and text, also called assets that come with Doodly, do not have the edit symbol like the imported images in version 2.4.6. So you cannot set the reveal mode to fade, nor can we export those assets to import them as an image to gain this functionality. To get around this limitation, we need to drag them onto the whiteboard canvas and then snip them using our snip and sketch tool. This will turn them into an image we can later import back into Doodly. We copy and paste these images from our Snip and Sketch tool into Photoshop. In Photoshop, we use the Magic Eraser tool to remove the white background. We want the white background gone in case we want to use the image for a chalkboard effect. If we only care about using the image for a whiteboard effect, then we can skip erasing the background. We can save the now transparent image for web using Photoshop. Now we import that image back into Doodly and repeat the same fading process as image fading. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I had making it. Make sure to hit those like, subscribe, and share buttons for more Doodly video tutorials.